Greenheads, Owen Blevins, ConcreteAnswers.tv, bringing you the Internet's most passionate show about concrete plants and equipment. Today, we're headed back out to Blair, Nebraska, where Jeff Bryan, Conoco's sales manager, is going to talk to us about how Conoco puts together a cement bin. This thing's mammoth, and the secret is putting it together before you get it on site. That way they can make sure they don't have any leaks, like this one in the field that is not a Conoco had, as you can see the repairs behind me. So check it out. We're in our fabrication shop today, looking at a 3,500 by four compartment rectangular cement bin. This cement bin will hold well over 500 tons of cement and stands about 82 foot tall. We build this cement bin in four different modules and we're going to show you today how we actually fit these modules together so when we weld these flanges off we can assure that when it goes back together in the field and the customer put, is bolting it back together we don't want any um, gaps in these flanges. So we actually stack the one module on top of another module, bolt them down, then we weld the flanges off. And we're going to show you on another module here how that works. This is a base module that you saw in the drawing. We call this the cradle section of the four compartment 3500 barrel cement bin. This is the bottom piece. Now this is the intermediate piece, which is the next module stacking on top of the cradle. Now as you can see, this unit is all put together and completely welded off except for the flange on the bottom which is where it bolts to the cradle section. All right, this is the next intermediate piece that actually sits on top of the, the first intermediate, and then there's a roof, um, roof piece that goes on top of this. As you can see, this piece is also finished. It's sitting on the fixture. We actually have a fixture, so we, when we make our uh, first flanges, we make them flange to flange so we know they're gonna bolt together correctly. And again, we don't weld them off until we stack them up. Here's the end of the cement cradle in the intermediate section. We go through, put all of our bolts in, and make sure all of our holes line up. After we do that, we go back and tighten them all up and to close up any gap which we might have. Like here, you can see we got a little bit of a gap. We'll suck that down tight. If it don't come tight by tightening the bolts, we'll cut these tacks. And after we cut them, they'll come tight. We'll tack it back up and weld all the way around the outside. Once we get the outside welded, we'll cut the, or take the bolts all out and we're done. Listen, Conoco isn't for everybody. If you're looking for the cheapest thing on the market, you're not going to buy a Conoco. You see, quality does not cost, it pays. As you can see by that build quality that Conoco puts into each and every one of their components for their concrete plants. So listen, this doesn't have to happen to you. If you owned this, how would you sell this plant? How would you tear it down? You'd have to cut it up in the field. That's a mess. You don't want that happening to you. So have your plant built right the first time. Listen, check out Conoco at Conoco.com. Of course, we love you at Mid-Atlantic Concrete Equipment, and we'll see you next time at ConcreteAnswers.tv.